What's going on YouTube land? Phil here. Welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. Thank you for helping us get to 10,000 subscribers. That's huge. So in order to celebrate, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Pomp and Circumstance, which of course is the graduation song that we all know. And that one was written by Edward Elgar, and we're going to be looking at the intermediate level arrangement from our song store in the app. Thanks again, guys. This one's to you. Ready? One, two, set, go. Boy, that's a long section, right? I'm going to be breaking this down for you, in one measure at a time, one hand at a time. Let's get into it in detail. You guys ready? We'll start with the right hand first. The key signature for this arrangement is one sharp, F sharp. That tells us we're in the key of G major. Time signature, 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure. Now our first note is a G right above middle C, and that's with our fourth finger. And we go to F sharp with our third. We've got our five finger, our pinky on A, two on E, and thumb on D. So we're starting out in a strong D major position. Now measure three, we're gonna bring our third finger over to place middle C. Now we're sort of in this position, right? So now two is on B. We'll walk up to D with our fourth finger and A with our thumb. All right, next measure, we're gonna walk up, we go to B with two, now C sharp with our third finger, and then immediately our thumb comes under to D. Now we're back to this D position. Pinky up to A, and then thumb back down to D. Now next line down, measure seven. A fourth finger plays G. One more quick G, and then we walk down the scale. Three on F sharp, two on E, and thumb on D. So I'm gonna play through that whole bit we just went over one more time, ready? One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Third finger over, two and three and four and one, two, look ahead. Four and one, two and three and four and one, two, three, look ahead, four on G two, and three, and four, and one. All right, so here we are now on the next measure, measure nine, next phrase. Our fourth finger plays G. This should look familiar. It's an exact copy of the first phrase. Third finger comes over. Now, next line down, still we're repeating what we saw in the beginning. Two on B, three on C sharp, thumb under, Five up to A, thumb to D. Now here, for the final phrase, we start to see some new material. The right hand jumps a bit higher, higher than it has yet, and our pinky's gonna play a high C. Down to B, A, and then back up to B. We're not done with this section yet. There's still a little more. So thumb now is on E. We're walking up. Now thumb down to D. Now pinky to G because here on the final line down, measure 19, our thumb's gonna reach down a full octave to a low G. Okay, now we're in this G position and we'll stay here until the end of this section. So we play a middle C with our fourth finger and then walk down, three on B, two on A, and one on G. All right guys, so that's what we have for the right hand. And in a minute, I'm gonna bring in our backing track so we can try to play this in time. We'll start slow and then we'll do it at full speed. But first I wanna say that when we're done with this video, where do you go to learn the rest of the song? 
Well, that's the Playground Sessions interactive app. Right now, we're doing a free trial just for you YouTube viewers out there, you subscribers out there, to say thank you. You've been learning song sections with us here on YouTube, and I want to give you guys the chance to learn the rest of these songs in the app with interactive notation for free. So we've created a free trial, 30 days, no strings attached, which means there's no payment up front and you can cancel any time. I'm confident that you're going to love the app, so I want you to get in there and try it before you decide to make a payment. So take advantage of that free trial by clicking the link in this video's description or tapping that card above that says free trial. In the meantime, let's keep going on this video. I'm going to cue up the backing track and we're going to try to play the right hand part we just learned to the slow tempo. Let's do it. One, two, set, go. I love that drum roll there, that's pretty cool. The backing track for this one is especially nice. Well guys, there's the right hand at the slow tempo. If you need more time with it, please pause, rewind, and play back. But when you're ready, now let's do the right hand at full speed. One, two, set, go. Alright, 100% on the right hand, there we go. Guys, I think it's time now to switch gears to the left hand. There's a lot of different harmony stuff going on in the left hand, but don't be worried, it's not as hard as it looks. I'll break it down for you right now, let's do it. As I mentioned, it looks kind of tricky, right? All these quarter notes up here in the notation, but it's not as hard as it looks, and that's because each chord is the same rhythm, it's all quarter notes, and because everything is in a certain inversion that allows it to all be right here within this sweet spot of the left hand which means we're not jumping around back and forth between different chord shapes. We're pretty much all right in here. So that's good news as well. Let's go through each chord out of the context of the rhythms that we see here. I'm just going to look at each chord shape individually and the chord symbols that we see underneath them. We'll go through that kind of quickly, and then I'll cue up the backing track at the slow speed. So if you need to pause and rewind me breaking any of this down, take advantage of these video lessons, because it's easy to do. All right, first chord, G over D. Then we have a D7. Then E minor. Now we're back to G over D. Now check this out. We're going to move to two note chords for a little bit here. C over E. G over D. A7 over E, which looks the same as our last C over E. And then we have D. Okay, keep it moving. Two note G over D. And we have A over D, also two notes. That looks like that. 
Now we're back to triads, D major, and then B minor over D. All right, there's the whole top line. Let's keep moving. E minor seven over D is next. That looks like this. Then we have A seven over C sharp. Here's just pretty much an A triad and first inversion. And then next we have D major root position again, and then D seven again. All right, we're making some progress here, guys. Don't forget, I mentioned that I'm gonna be breezing through this kind of quick, but don't let that intimidate you. Please, rewind and play back with me many times through this section. Pause on each chord shape if you want and match it with me. All right, we're in the end of measure eight. We just played this D7. Let's keep it moving into measure nine. G over D again. D7, E minor. This is the same material from the beginning, by the way. G over D, C over E, G over D, A7 over E, and D major. Now, by the way, the reason we move to two note chords here is because the right hand melody actually gets pretty low down into this range. So we're getting our fingers out of the way while the right hand covers some of those notes in the melody. All right, now we're on the third line down, measure, th measure 13, excuse me. That's a G over D, still two note chords. Then we have A over D. Now measure 14, we're back to triads, D major. That's for the whole measure. Now, next measure, C over E, then D7. Now here we have G over D again, and then we have something new here, just a G triad up here, or a dyad, I should say. And then we're gonna walk down chromatically from the lowest voice. So now we're gonna play the same chord with an F sharp on the bottom. That's kind of like a G major seven over F sharp, or just a G major chord with this little passing tone because we're gonna keep moving down to an F natural. And that gives us a G seven, a G dominant seven over F natural. So this measure one more time goes G over D, G dyad, G over F sharp, and then G seven over F. Now let's keep it moving. Next we go to C over E, and that's a beautiful resolution coming after this. And that's because if you notice the descending line on the bottom continues to go down by half steps when we resolve to the C over E. Okay, next F sharp diminished. That sounds like a weird one, but we don't have to move very far from the chord we're on. There's F sharp diminished. Next we have our G over D again. We love that one. Then E minor. All right, we're on the final line down now, and we're starting to see some new stuff. We're jumping down from our sweet spot now to an A minor, an A fifth. Okay, then we go to a D7, but here it's just a dyad, D and F sharp. And then we go to a low G fifth. So one more time, those last two measures go A minor, D7, and a low G fifth. Whew, so I wasn't kidding, right? That left hand is a lot. And I know we kind of sprinted through it, but please rewind, play back, all that. When you're ready, I want to try this now at the slow speed. Let's do it. One, two, set, go. All quarter notes. So keep that pulse in your head. Playing along in the app, you can listen to the backing track. Play along with the snare. The snare is playing every beat. Nice job. So there we have it at the slow speed. When you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do full tempo now with the left hand. One, two, 
Here we go. Yeah, 100%. That felt especially good for this left hand part, especially because it's so long. So, we got 100% for the right hand and 100% for the left hand. You know what that means, we've just got to put the hands together and then you've got this whole section down. And don't forget, when we're done, you can finish this song in the interactive app with no strings attached for free, right? We're doing that free trial that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Click the link in this video's description or tap that card above, the one that just popped up saying, what are you waiting for? Right? So we're almost done with this video. When we're done, you gotta finish this song in the app. Anyways, let's wrap it up, guys. Hands together. We're gonna start at the slow tempo, and then our final step will be to go to full speed. Come on, let's do it. One, two, set, go. Okay guys, you know the drill. Pause, rewind, play back as needed. But if you're ready, let's wrap it up together by doing hands together full speed. Here we go. One, two, set, go. all around so guys thank you one more time for helping our channel get to 10,000 subscribers we're super excited about it and we're extra motivated now to continue bringing you the best content we can the best piano tutorials on YouTube we're doing it and it's all thanks to you guys so I'm Phil thanks for watching playground sessions channel I'll see you guys on the next video the features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the playground sessions app co-created by music legend Quincy Jones Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.